Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, remember the other day I did a video that was a part two. I said I must have missed part one uh, from when I was sick or that day I was in the hospital. Maybe it came anyway, and when I was trying to catch up, I might have deleted it. But anyway, so I shared with you part two, which was from a Miss Sophie. And I had mentioned there was another Miss Sophie who had a niece that was with her. This is not the same one. It can't be. And this is part three of the three-parter. Okay. And I'd like to share it with you. I read it over very carefully. I don't get any red flags. So, and it's kind of a, a, he mentions some of the same things that he mentioned before, but not, not completely. Okay, so, anyway, let me go ahead and get started sharing this part three. That was given, well, it's at the end when it was given. All right, this just says, part three of three, Yahushua. Hamashiach is the answer. That was the title of the other one. And this came to me February 13th, 2020, in my letter from Dawn. All right, he says, remember, life is but a vapor. Partaking in the kingdom of darkness brings death and hellfire. See, our God is very loving, but he is also demanding to have his way. And doesn't he have the right? Our Father will not allow any uncleanness to enter the kingdom of heaven. Nothing unclean will enter the kingdom of heaven. Nothing evil. Okay, so having said that, let me continue. He said, partaking in the kingdom of darkness brings death and hellfire. Disconnect from those partaking in any occultic practice. Reconnect to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Renounce the devil. Repent to me. See, even if you don't actually say, um, do the reading of the tarot cards, but you're hanging out with someone and you watch them tell people their fortune with them. You're good buddies. He wants you to pull away from that and maybe if you haven't already tell them about how wrong it is and that they need to repent and make Jesus their Savior. If you've done that already and they haven't and won't and won't quit and you're still hanging around with them you may not be doing the reading or the looking into the crystal ball. But if you're hanging out with them. You're attaching yourself to something evil. So he's telling you to disconnect from them. And repent. Okay. Stop and think about who do you hang out with. What do you read that seems innocent. All right. Repent to me. I offer eternal peace, love, joy, and salvation. Death loses its sting over you when you return. Breath of heaven or the smell of sulfur, which would you rather have? 
Make decisions now. You are not guaranteed tomorrow, and I know the number of your days on earth. I created you. I brought you into the world, and I know when you will leave it. Stop playing around in these false religions of man. Demonic doctrine of once saved, always saved, of all occultic activity. Time is now. Tomorrow may never be nigh for you. That means you could die in your sleep or while you're sleeping, something happens and you die. Will you listen or continue to play tug of war with me? I hate sin and all that is an abomination in my eyes should be in yours too. In other words, whatever's an abomination to me should be an abomination to you. Wake up. Life is not a bed of roses. Plagues, persecution, and famine are fast becoming the mainstay, the way of the future. Prepare, prepare, prepare. It will get much worse, not better, until my return. Spirituality, mental, mentally, spirit, I'm sorry, I'm wearing these other glasses. Spiritually, I think that's spelt wrong. Spiritually, mentally, physically, prepare yourselves. Do it now. Remove all that is not of me. Now is the time to get very close to me. I am your shield and the defender of the weak. You must be hidden under the shadow of my wings. Where do you hear that? Psalm 91. I am your shelter. This comes through seeking intimacy with your creator, dash, me. And they type that in caps. M-E, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Time is short. And that's in all caps. I haven't been telling you what's in all caps, but time is now. The word sin. Usually when I take a message, I can tell when it's the word is more forceful and bold, so I put it in all caps. It just comes out that way when I'm writing. It just, it's like, it's almost like the Holy Spirit takes my hand and makes it all caps and exclamation, exclamation. It's very strange, but it, it just happens. So that's probably how it was written, but. Anyway, I'll try to do better. He said, prepare, prepare, prepare. That was all caps. And then, do it now was in all caps. Exclamation, exclamation. Remove all that is not of me. And then the word now is in all caps. It's the time to get very close to me. I am your shield and the defender of the weak. You must be hidden under the shadow of my wings. I am your shelter. This comes through seeking intimacy with your creator, me. The me is all caps with three exclamations. Time is short, and that's in all caps. Make wise use of the time you have left. Stop is all caps. Buying your gadgets and trinkets 
and start investing in me. Use mammon wisely. Get the things one would need in dire times. Make wise choices. Do not delay what you can do today. Come into the, quote, secret place, unquote, in me. That's also found in Psalm 91, but I'm thinking it's in other Psalms as well. I am your provider, yet man has a responsibility to take care of his own. Prayer is essential. Direction comes from me if you diligently seek me. Walk in love. Count it all joy when trials and tribulations come your way. I chasten those I love. And Satan comes after those I love to stop you from going further, from pursuing me. He will do anything to hinder you, and he uses the same tactics from his bag of tricks, and that's in quotes, anything and everything to keep you frustrated, busy, distracted, so you will give up. Use your armor and gird up your loins daily. I am here. Where are you? Seek me now as the sand in the hourglass will run out. Return or perish. I love you. Follow me, repent, return, or perish. I am the answer. Come back home, my children. All things work together for good for all those who love me. Given to Miss Sophie on 2-9-2020. Ending at 4.44 p.m. Now, those of you that understand them triple numbers, what does that 444 mean? I don't remember. 444. I've heard it and I've seen it written down. I just can't remember. So maybe somebody could help out with that. I could look it up also and see if, what it means in Strong's. All right, so I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over this, over this uh, message that I believe is from him. We should take all messages to the Lord for confirmation if we don't believe it's from him or we're not sure. And, um, where was I? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, my computer, the internet connection over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connections. And I, I'm sorry to the person that I promised to do a redo of my message on the two raptures. But my i am honestly been too tired to do the research that I want to put with it. I could easily open it up and read it. But I think that at this particular time that it is it is an important message. And the man that somebody shared video with me, I have watched that 
three times. And I'm, I'm debating whether I should share it because I am not sure. It's not a word from the Lord, okay? It's, it seems to be more of his take on Scripture, what, what he was given or what he was led to or what he found in Scripture. And I'm afraid it may be confusing. I, I, I want to pray some more on that. It, it may be just that I'm so tired. I'm not grasping it like I did the first time I read it. I'm telling you, this... This move has been difficult, and it's it has d drugged me way down physically. So whatever happens to me physically, your brain is part of your body. It pretty much runs the whole show. So if my body's exhausted, then my brain is too. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. But anyway, um, I only jerked a little bit last night. That's been my problem, having terrible convulsions. It, it has have not been having any until this move. So it's clear that I just, when you have ME, you don't need to push yourself physically. But when you have no help, you know... You do the best you can, right? And last night, all I remember doing was a little bit of like that with, with my arms. So they're still wore out. <laughs> that's the only way I can explain it. But um, so that's good. So it's, it's improving. The rest of me stayed still. <laughs> so, so that was good. I'm getting there. <laughs> So with that, I'll let you go, and I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.